Netflix's remake of The Wages of Fear ends on a fittingly explosive note, but which characters survive to the closing credits? This 2024 Netflix movie involves a Parisian crew of mercenaries hired by an oil company to drive trucks filled with explosives across an unnamed, war-torn desert country. Adding to the crew's stressful task is that they have less than 24 hours to deliver the trucks to stop a blazing oil fire, while the nitroglycerin they are hauling is so unstable it could explode if the trucks get rocked too hard. Along the way, the Wages of Fear's cast of characters survive rebel attacks, being shot at by a sniper and myriad other hazards before reaching their destination. Only Fred, played by Vin Diesel doppelganger Frank Gastambide, his brother Alex, Albin Lenore, and Fred's doctor love interest Clara, Anna Hirarthot, make it. Sadly, the wounded Fred is left with little choice but to drive the last remaining truck into the oil well himself, which promptly explodes and seals up the raging inferno. Why Fred sacrifices himself to save the villagers. The Wages of Fear's main character earns his redemption. Frank Gastambide as Fred driving towards the oil fire in Netflix's The Wages of Fear. Fred is the Wages of Fear's flawed protagonist, who heads up the convoy hauling the explosives. Flashbacks reveal why Fred is so intent on getting his brother out of prison and reuniting him with his wife and daughter. Not only is the mission about personal redemption for Fred, but he knows the oil fire will eventually destroy a nearby village too. During the climax, Fred saves Alex and his family from the oil company goons that betray them, before realizing there's little time left to seal up the fire. Having earned his redemption by reuniting Alex with his family, Fred drives his truck right into the heart of the blaze to extinguish it. Clara begs him to stop, but Fred doesn't see another way. Netflix's action movie ends with shots of the villagers rejoicing as the fire is shut off, proving that Fred's sacrifice saved the day. The oil company double-cross the drivers. The Wages of Fear's mercenaries don't get a warm welcome from their employers. Astrid Wetnall as Marchand looking angry in Netflix's The Wages of Fear. The oil company hired Fred and his team partly because they were perfect for the gig and partly because everyone else turned the job down. The danger inherent in the gig is confirmed when only a few of them make it to the village alive. Unfortunately, their woes aren't over. It turns out a team the company hired to plant the explosives was killed en route, and there is no time to wait for replacements. In short, the oil company needs to force one of the mercenaries to drive a truck into the heart of the fire. Correctly predicting this news wouldn't go down well, the company's representative Marchand, Astrid Wetnall, and her goons hold Alex's family at gunpoint. Their attempt to blackmail Alex into driving is thwarted by Fred, who shoots Marchand and her men from a distance. However, Fred decides to do the heroic thing and drive the truck himself, since the well is set to explode at any moment. Why Gautier tries to kill Fred? The Wages of Fear's mercenary leader gets greedy in the final act. Sophie Zermani as Gautier holding a gun on a rebel in The Wages of Fear 2024. The oil company comes to Fred on the recommendation of his pal Gautier, Sophie Zermani, who is technically in charge of the convoy. Over time, it becomes clear Fred is more capable, while Gautier loses all of his men during the trip. Coming into The Wages of Fear's finale, Gautier pulls a heel turn and points his gun at Fred. He explains Fred is no longer needed since they are so close to the village and Gautier can collect his old pal's fee for himself. Gautier seemingly shoots Fred dead, and his body falls out of the truck. After killing Fred, the cocky Gautier drives the explosives truck along a narrow road, but sadly for him, the truck malfunctions along the way. It plummets off the road, causing a gigantic explosion when it hits the ground. This, of course, raises the stakes further, since Alex's truck is the village's only hope to stop the fire. 